<laughs> hey people, it's the Broken Puppet, back with another video for today. This one is how to draw an old school lighthouse in a bottle with a cute little flower. And uh, it's a uh, pretty classic, like you know, you've probably seen these type of designs before, but yeah. Talk you for the shading, colouring, yada yada, all the works. And uh, any of it you want to see, just leave a comment below, subscribe, and yeah, enjoy. Alright people, how to draw an old school lighthouse in a bottle, with a nice flower. And that, uh, as usual these old school designs, they look more simple than they actually are. And that, but yeah, we're going to talk through this, and I'm going to show you how to make this. Right. First off, draw yourself a rectangle. Now you got to decide on which way you want the bottle to face, and uh, which way you want the cap to face. Now you see on this one, bottle facing that way. You can have it sideways, straight up, down, facing the other way. Well, this one I'm going to have facing quite similar. So I'm just going to sketch in rough rectangle. Very roughly. Another rectangle at the top, in the centre. Go off the edge. And then I'm going to have my flower. Go here like the other one was. And then, yeah, last that's going to go in there. But for now, we get the basic structure. Start off quickly with a flower. Real simple, just do yourself a nice little circle in the middle. I'll go straight and pin this, I think. Get yourself a circle. Now, now if you struggle with uh, getting patterns and at least, you know, in the exact placement, get a little compass or something or like a big circular shape. Do another perfect circle around it. Something like that. And now for this kind of flower, you want to divide it into five. And that's so. Start off with like your straight point. Come right to the top. Diagonal. Almost to the side, just a little bit further in. Kind of down. Down there. It hasn't got to be exact, like see, I'm just sketching it in. And that'll give you a rough idea of where each kind of petal is going to sit and how far you got. Now with this, I'm going to bring the line up on the line bit. Coming straight until we get to about here, that close to the line. Then I'm just going to curve this inwards. Curve it up again, touch the line in the middle. Curve down and make it symmetric on the other side. I'm going to do that for each petal. Just like that. Now you see, I mean, they're not perfect, you know, this one's a bit smaller than the others, but as long as they're roughly in the same place and roughly around the same size, that's all that counts. There, just put in like five lines, just through the centerpiece, and then a little circle on top. And that, just real simple. No. Then once you've done that, that's pretty much the flower bit done. All you've got to do is add the uh, leaves onto that. Leaves are all simple. And I just curve a line quite long, coming down like that. And then do the same going the other way. Like that. And then for this type, just bring in the same shape, just small on the inside. Just like that. And then you colour in that in black. Just do random size ones. You can do big ones, small ones. Like that. Just put a little smaller one there. A nice big one on this side. I'm going to make them a fair size as well. You don't want to make them too small. 
make a nice little feature out of them. I'll just do those two for now, like that. And then you get the bottle. Now that's the rough bottle shape. I'm going to go around this with a pen up until the neck bit around here. Then we're going to stop. And I'm going to show you why. Now you want to try and get this as symmetric as possible. I'm just freehanding it so it's not going to be dead perfect. Yeah, that's quite bad to be honest, but you get the idea. And you just want to draw the same shape on the inside, just a little bit smaller. Keep the space between the lines the same if you can. See, just like that. Then you want to do another rectangle. Come across here. This kind of creates like the glass bit that the uh, cork goes into. As if it was a bottle of rum. So a little rectangle. Then just do your cork shape. Remember your cork shape's like kind of angled, so it looks like it's kind of fitting in the bowl, like squeezing. And that's your rough bowl shape. And that, not too nothing too complicated about that. And now here we're going to do the water. Now the water is almost like uh, dragon scales and fish scales. So it's a bunch of semicircles facing upwards for this bit first. Do your first one and your second one touching the middle. Go now and each one just make. Go from the centre of one to the next centre of the one and across. And now, don't do too many. I'm going to do one more layer here. Then I'm going to stop. Just like that. And then on the inside of that, just keep repeating the shape about three times, getting smaller each time. Kind of like that, you see? There's other ways of doing water effects. This is just one of them. Very old school, this one. Simple, just like that. Next step's the lighthouse. Now, you sketch it in pencil first, you know, if you want to get you know, rough position in. So, do this vertical line, and that. Do two lines at a slight angle. Coming up. Not quite touching the line, but going near it. Top of it, do yourself a little box. That give an idea of where it goes to. Now, draw those lines up to the box. Just like that. Do a little rectangle. Create that little platform. I like to do three X's in this, and that's so. That's just me. So X, X, X. Just like that. It makes it look like a little railing, but you ain't got to do that. That's just what I do. It's one of my little trademarks on these lighthouses. And yeah, I've done a fair few of these. Another rectangle on top. A little semicircle on top of that. Simple. And then coming across it, you just want to do a slight curved line. Keeping the space between them the same if you can. All the way to the top. Just like that. Now from this line here, from this square bit, you want to do a diagonal line coming out. This one going downwards. I'm going up. It's like the light beaming. And I'm not going to come out too far because I like to put my light gun behind the clouds. And that's so I can do that. Underneath here, I'm going to do a little bit of rocks. So, a little jaggedy line coming down. A little jaggedy line like that. You know, it's literally just squiggly kind of line. On top of that, I'm going to do a little bit of a mountain. You know, this one's a bit more straight, so. Almost like a triangular shape. You can see one there. Now, behind this, 
You can have a choice here whether you want the water sitting behind the clouds or in front of the clouds. I usually have it in front of the clouds. I mean behind the clouds, like that one. So it goes behind it. But this one I'm going to show you in front of the clouds. Just do that and then do the old little kind of bird things but upside down for the waves. Just like that. In the backgrounds, we're going to do semicircles and just flick out. See like that? Keep them the same size and just keep flicking them out. It's going to create the clouds. All the way around there with that. Now I'm going to do a second layer just on the inside bit. Just go in there. Simple way. Eh? You can put lightning in, like I put a little lightning streak in this one, and add little details if you want. That's just the basic of it. And now here, I'm going to put in a little date. I always like to put a little date on my bowls. So let's say 1969. Don't know why I thought that number. Anyway, just do some kind of swig lines up here. You've probably seen me do this before, like a wood effect, just like on a cork. It's just a little bit of detail. In that and that's the basic line work for it quite simple and that and then you just want to cut it in give me a rubber rubber all that line work simple lovely jubbly I will be thickening up a line on the outside old school usually the line work is all the same width so it'd just be one type of line but I like to play around and Use a slightly thicker line. I like, see it done here. Use a slightly thicker line on the outside. And that. Gonna get a red pen for this and I'm gonna colour in this, but I'm gonna leave a little white line just around the edge. See just like that. Do that for each one. It's a brilliant way of making your skull your old earth bleh. Give me, I'm getting a bit tongue tied here. Yeah, you basically do that for each one and you get a pretty cool old school effect. If you make a little mistake, don't worry about it. Like I just like accidentally touched the inside bit. Don't make too much difference. So don't go beating yourself up if you make little mistakes, okay? Just get the yellow and orange, colouring that centrepiece. Just like that. Get black, colour in the inside bit. Up a green. I like to get a quite dark green for the outside and not too bright a green. And a forest green. You know, light greens have their purpose, but I don't think it's for these kind of leaves. Voila. Now, now, like I said, I'm just going to thicken up the outline bit, if I can find me a bloody pen. So I'm just going to thicken up the line around the flower and around the bowl. Every other line just stays the same. It just makes it bold and stand out. Up there. And 
was the edge. Something like that. Now I'm rushing mine a bit, you know, take your time with it. I'm just doing it quick so I can show you guys. And now the cloud bit on the outside here, I'm going to colour it in. I'm going to leave a white gap on the inside bit. See, just like that. And that. Next one, shall I do black on these ones as well, I think. Sometimes you can do grey like uh, on the other picture I've done, I've done grey on the second set. So actually it depends how dark you want your clouds. With old school you want to use a lot of black. You know. Never be afraid to use a lot of black in old school pieces. Let's go black there. And that we're going to do just here. I'm going to put in some jaggedy kind of spider bits just there circle dot 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 a few little dots on the, on the uh, mountain bit and then just pretty much like one side of the cliff just shadowed it's actually just like a crazy line going halfway across it then coming back Nothing too spectacular about it. Once you've done that, get yourself your red. Oops, red the line there. That's what happens when you rush. See, so you can just colour in each row. So you colour red, white, red, white, red. Yada yada. Colour in the top bit red. Yellow. <coughs> I'm going to get an orange here and I'm going to flick this out. And blend it out to yellow. Everyone's always asking me and I always say these markers are trio markers. I use a mix of trio markers and flex markers for this because they've got a brush tip. So they give shading, but you can use pencils, paints, anything does it, you know, don't sort of feel you have to be restricted to these particular markers. They're great, but they're not the only solution. In fact, most people who do old school generally tend to water paint. I usually tend to water paint. That was water painted. Fade out that red at the top into orange. Nice speed in the sky. Orange on this bit. <coughs> that is tough. Excuse me. Colour in the water bits blue. You can go halfway if you want and do this kind of uh, shine at the middle if you want like that. Or you can just bold them in. Whatever takes your fancy. Just like that. Get a water shine. Colour in the background, water in blue. Give myself a lighter green now. I'm going to colour in the 
got a bit around the outside. I'm going to blend this into yellow. I like to do a transition between yellow and this. It was green. Into yellow. Get yellow in the middle. That bit. Green on the outside. Let's have a brown. Colour in the uh, cork brown. The old school is really about just bold solid colour in there. My dark green again. Going to colour in my little kind of hilly bit. I'm going to be my mountain in grey I think. Now the uh, lighthouse, you can leave it like that, or you can make it a little bit more 3D. And then you can put like a uh, black on the outside, or you can do this. Got a grey line on the sides. You can blend it out like I've done in the other picture. Or leave it like a straight line. Both look pretty cool. Depends how you want to do it. So you see like, that one I kind of blended. That one I kind of left like that. So, depends what kind of effect you want to go for, really. Just putting the straight line bits here. Just made it like light is bursting. And voila, there you have it. How to draw an old school bowl, lighthouse, and flower. Hope you like it. Hope you check out my videos. As usual, I am the Broken Puppet. And I will see you next time. Peace out.